Hi, what's up everybody? Arun is here and today I am going to teach you how to draw basic shapes like triangle, circle, rectangle, square, pentagonal and all other basic shapes in solid edge. And basically this tutorial can help the students who are studying in B first sem and second sem because normally our professional courses contains a subject called CAD which means computer aided engineering drawing uh, which basically includes all the basic drawings like isometric drawings, solid drawings and many more. As the name said, the drawing in computer. And this is a very big subject. So I will teach you some of the good and useful tricks and tips which will help you in drawing in computer. Let's open the solid edge software. And this is my first tutorial on the solid edge. And solid edge has two versions in which first one is solid edge v19 which is only supposed to the 32 bit pcs and solid edge v20 which is only supposed to the 64 bits pcs or laptops and i am using a solid edge v20 because i am using my laptop here here you can see solid part sheet metal part weld mail, assembly and drawing i am doing this tutorial for a first year students so we need only drawings and if you are a beginner then please check this uh, apprentice mode tool set of new users so you should check this one then move to the drawing and you will get a new sheet if you want this solid edge and or this all grid marks then you can keep or else you can delete it by going to the sheet property here sheet setup and just uncheck this one show background set as default if you want a4 sheet then choose a4 sheet and uncheck this show background and save as default then click ok and you will get a small so you need to fit it so here it is fit first of all i will give you a short description about this all the tools which i am going to use in the solid edge first one is line if you click this point or right here and you will get some of the tools in bit inside this so you can change the tools whenever you want if you need first of all i will choose the point line point so if you choose a point if you click here you will get a small point just i will zoom it this is the point this will be very small don't worry so i will again fit it to our screen and then Ctrl Z for removing the dot. Then next one is line. So if you want a li line of 30 millimeter, so you need to just click 30 and enter it. Then you will get. If you want a line at 30 degree or some angle, so I will just type at 30 degree. So I will get a line at 30 degree. If you want one more line then it will continue. If you don't want then you should need to click right click so it will go. And then next curves. Curves if you click this uh, point or right here then you will get again two options that is curve or convert to curve. If you want a curve like point by point curve then if you just need to click at a point then it will make curve which is very simple so if you don't want extra then you need to click right click in your mouse so it will end the curve there only and next one is uh, this is not required convert to curve so i am not going to teach you and next tangent just select the tangent and tangent also we have, you have three choices that is tangent arc tangent by 3 points and arc by center point so if you want a tangent arc then you just need to click two, uh, 2 points and you will get a circle of some radius if you want a radius of circle uh, about 50 mm then you will get this much and basically this arc by 3 points are also not needed so i will move on to the this arc by center point if you have a center point and you need a arc just like this then you can draw an arc of 360 degree till 
or else if you want uh, about 30 degree so you will get a 30 degree of the arc and next one if you want a circle that is circle by center point if you have a center and you just need to click on the center some point then you will get a circle if you have a value of radius then substitute and if you have a sorry value of diameter then you need to put it here and next one just click once and it will be fixed fitting there and next one circle by three points if you have three points then you can draw a circle of circle also and next one tangential circle if you have a line which you which it should be tangent then just click and just draw drag like this so you will get a circle which will touches a line or it will make a tangent to that one. next one ellipse by three points this will be vertex of the biggest vertex of this ellipse so and if you want a small small vertex then like this and if you want ellipse by three points just click at somewhere and drag it so you will get a ellipse and next one is rectangle just i will go to the next page rectangle if you have a height width and angle then you can just i will show one example of for this so i will take width of 30 mm and height of 40 mm you need to turn it like this and you need to set it and it will set or if you want at an angle let's get an example of 30 mm and 40 mm at an angle of 30 degree so you can get this like this or at an angle of 60 degree anything like 30 and 40 at an angle of 60 degree and you will have this yes as simple as that next one fillet this is not useful for first year students and next one trim if you have edges extra edges like this you can trim it and from end by end so it will be so easy for you and then next set next will be inside the trim, trim corner and uh, extend to next if you have a line like this and this and like this this is for an example just extend to next it will be extend to next line till it touches the line so if you click on that line then it will be extend to that line just i will adjust this tool this tool for here so that you can see all the tools or on top of it something like this and then there are some tools which are very useful for us that is more tool more tool if you click this line and you if you just want to move it here select the more tool and just click on this icon move or co move copy and it will show orange color if it is show orange color then this is in copy mode so just you you need to drag it somewhere and it will copy the same line continuously how much times if you want then make sure unch uncheck this one when you are just want to move it as like from from here to here and next one is rotate tool yes for example i have a rectangle yes if you want to move it just select this one and then click like this it will copy because you had checked this one if you don't want to copy then you should uncheck this one as previous in more tool next is 
scale tool for example if you have a, a rectangle of consider 80 mm width and 100 mm height as shown like this and if you want to convert it into 40 mm width and 50 mm height which is half of this one then you need to just select the scale tool and just select the whole rectangle and uncheck this copy tool if you don't want to copy of that if you want to copy then you should check this one don't go to set and just scale cap scale factor just if you are going to scale the scale this whole rectangle to the half of that one. just you need to click 0.5 or 1 by 2 And you will get a small one. Click out. As simple as that. Or if you want to double this one, then you need to select this one and just substitute a scale factor as two, and you will get the same. The next one is zoom. Zoom area. If you want to zoom a particular area, just drag like this and you will get zoom the this particular area in a full screen <coughs> and if you want to zoom just just click and if you move up it will zoom out and if you move down it will zoom in so it is also a very easy fit tool it will fit the whole page to the screen and action pan pan tool just If you want to move a work page like this, wherever you want, at in the screen, then uh, smart distance. In smart distance, you just click it. In smart distance, you will get a distance of this and this anything, any line. It will select automatically. <coughs> and here your distance between. There are so many options like distance between, angle between, coordinate dimension, angular coordinate dimension, symmetric diameter, camfer di dimension. First one will go to the distance between. Distance between means this is distance between. Just click this one. If you want the distance between two lines, then you just click these those two lines and you will get get a distance. is angle between consider two lines two lines which is just like this and distance between or choose angle between and you just you need to select these two lines and you will get a angle on this one so that is 50 degree next one is coordination corner dimension and all this You don't need this much, so I will skip those. And this is text tool. Whenever you are going to name a point or any line, just you need to like A. This is A point, and this is B, and this is C, and this is D. Like this. Then just I will show you. that's it for you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video